What up, it's your boy Mr. 6.5. Today I'll be testing the uh, Toro Force 8. Uh, I've actually tested a 6.5 of these guys. You know, the 6.5 the and, and the 8 look damn near the same. The 6.5 did pretty good. Um, so they asked me to test the 8, and sure, why not? I mean, I enjoy testing the 6.5, so, um, so here we are. So let's see here. Overlook the mess on the table. I've got my wagon in the shop. I'm doing some work to it right now. Uh, but anyhow, you know, same design on the surround as on the six and a half. A heavy paper uh, pulp cone. Get my light here. It actually uses dual uh, red linear spider packs, um, which I thought was pretty cool. It has a vented former. It appears to be a, a, a two and a half inch coil. Nice little motor with a boot. You know, it has direct leads on it. I know some people don't care for direct leads, but personally I like them, but it's all a uh, personal preference. This one is a dual four. Nice vented motor. You know, the ratings is 800 watts RMS, 1600 uh, peak. You know, that sounds fair. That, that's, you know, pretty common for an eight, you know, of this design. So here is some of the specs. If you'd like to pause the video and kind of look, uh, this is directly out of uh, their box so all right so let's get it loaded up in uh, we're actually going to test with the blazer or the jimmy and uh, let's get it loaded in there and start making some hits on it so our test platform is a 1998 uh, gmc uh, jimmy yeah, same thing as the blazer uh, it's four door it's a uh, full interior it is a uh, you know a musical daily does have a, uh, a SCV 4K, you know, some VEX Pros, and a version of the Sniper Box. Um, so it's not the actual Sniper Box, but it's a version of it. This is my nephew's. Um, you know, we're not completely done with it. Like, there is no deadener on the roof. There is no deadener in the doors. The only place that is deadened right now is the quarters and the lower bottom and the rear gate. So we still got a lot to do to this vehicle. Um, but like I said, it's, it's more of a daily. So the SPL numbers are down on this versus my Jeep. But for this single six and a half, I wanna use this because this is more of a <clears throat> realistic um, everyday build. All right, so let's get to testing. All right, so we're gonna start off with legal sealed. Uh, the mic is on the dash right there. All windows are up. Uh, we're gonna do 100 watts first to begin with. I like to do that for my personal records. Uh, the one 11.74 that you see on there right now is just from where I slammed the door. I don't have the means to reset it uh, from where I'm sitting, so. I just leave it there. I'll do this run, reset it. Uh, but here we go. Uh, 100 watts or as close to it as we can get. All right, so 136.14 at 100 watts. Um, Pretty good start. Let's do the 800 watt next, the RMS. All right, same thing. The 115 you see there is from where I slammed the door. Uh, legal sealed again. This time we're gonna do 800 watts, which is the RMS. All right, we're gonna go to eight or as close as we can get it. Here we go. All 
All right, so I overshot by six watts, but a 143.28. All right, so next up we're gonna do uh, the same test, but we're gonna do Outlaw Kick, um, which you know, a lot of different orgs run either way. So I try to do it both ways. That way, uh, you know, people can see each direction, I suppose. All right, so Mike is now in the kick. Uh, you probably won't be able to see it. You might be able to see the cable. Driver's window is open. Uh, all other windows are shut. We're still firing from the cargo area. So we'll do, uh, we'll go ahead and do the 800 right out the gate. So here we go. So 144.34 at 810 uh, watts. So I guess we'll do the 1600 next. All right, same thing, but we're going to do the 1600 this go around. And it's pretty interesting to see that this blazer, it's only a 1 dB difference between legal sealed versus outlaw kick. So, you know, uh, some, some cars, it's a huge spread, you know, 10 dB, but... This one here, it's usually about 1 dB. So anyhow, uh, outlaw kick again. Let's do 1600 watts. Let's make sure I got everything like I want it. All right, well, let's go with it. All right, so we're gonna use my SPL Jeep now. The Jeep is a whole different animal than the Blazer. You know, the Jeep um, I built for SPL because this is what I competed with, but as you can see, the Jeep has not seen any action in a very long time. So I've got the lithium bank charging up. It has a 45 amp hour lithium bank. Uh, the box is in here. I have two SCV 4Ks strapped. Um, so yeah, this, the whole thing is uh, deadened and foamed, uh, 16 pound density foam. So, you know, I mean, it is completely solid. <coughs> the whole vehicle is, you know, everything's beyond or behind uh, your B pillar. Um, that's about all. So let's finish charging it up and Let's see what it'll do on its RMS peak, and then let's see what it's got all together. All right, so the Jeep is outlaw kick. The mic is in the kick there, and the uh, driver's door is partially open. Uh, you know, I competed in NSPL. This was the format that we used, so I kind of stuck with it. Now, the Jeep, it's a little more difficult for me to... 100% dial in the power, so I'm sure I'll either overshoot it or just slightly undershoot, but most of the time I overshoot a little bit. Uh, you know, with this much power on tap, um, it's a little difficult to hit the, the low power stuff, you know. So, first I'm going to do a 100 watt test, which, you know, I, I kind of always do. Um, so, we'll see. Let's see if I got it set right. Here we go. All right, here we go. 100 watts. Alright, so uh, 139.54 at 100 watts. So let me check everything and make sure that um, you know I have my settings correct in my head unit because I haven't really uh, used this Jeep in quite some time. So, alright. So I'm going to do the RMS run, which was uh, 800 watts. So give or take, I'll try to get as close as I can to 800. Um, all right, so here we go. All 
All right, so I overshot by 21, but a 147.38. Pretty good. Next up, 1K, or no, 1600. I'm sorry, 1600. So here we go. All right, so now we're going to do the peak, which should be uh, 1600. So let's see what we got. A 148.33 at 1,643 watts. All right, so any guesses of how much power it take before it goes, or will I run out of power? All right, let's get it ready. All right, so let's see what she'll do uh, before she lets loose or I run out of power. So here we go. Well, she stopped at a 149.55 at 34 or 3,458. But on a side note, she didn't stop, so. I'll tell you what, let's reset it. Give the uh, HU a few more clicks. And see at least, at least if we can bust that 150. Oh no. Alright, so I went a few more clicks on the head unit. Let's uh let's see what we got now. Let's see if we can at least get to 50. Oh, there it went. I think it dropped one cool. Oh well, we try. Something worth noting though, uh, if you look at the difference between the RMS power, which was 800, and the peak, which was 1600, there was only a 1 dB gain. You know, which, that's kind of a good thing. That means really you're getting all the performance you need out of this sub at its rated power. So there's really no need in pushing it this far to the breaking point. Um, so if you caught that in the video, then then you'd understand why I only gain one dB from doubling the power would typically you know I would gain around two and a half dB in this uh, Jeep um, but all right y'all have a good one all right so slight change of plans um, Jacob Fuller said put it in the Jeep and send it so bonjour motherfucker Forty six point nine seven to two K.